first time eating Hooters. Got some chicken sliders. Yeah, I'm gonna do it just to see if it's worth this crazy reaction that Lucky giving out right now. Overseas, couple G's and expenses. Gotta get it, I've been different since the entrance. Look at her eating that, eating that stuff I ate yesterday. Woo, hot. Hot? Spicy? Spicy? Oh, I know. Believe me. Y'all seen how. Y'all seen what it did to me. Alright, so right now we are heading to Hooters to get some lunch. Lucky said they got beautiful girls. And I'm gonna see what the pricing is like compared to the states. Probably the same, but we're gonna still get some good food anyway. Gonna get some of the nachos. See what these taste like, the beef nachos. So the beef, the beef nachos are 399 baht, which is like $10. So I don't know if that's the same price as that. I haven't been to Hooters in the States in a while. So let me know in the comments how this price compares to in the States. What are you gonna get? Chicken slider? Okay, I'm gonna get the chicken slider. This your first time eating Hooters? Yeah. yeah? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, you only drank before? Oh, okay, so lucky first time eating some Hooters food. We're gonna see. First time eating Hooters. Got some chicken slider. You like the french fry? Good? Okay, okay. No? How it tastes? I give it five. Five out of ten? Okay, okay. Five out of ten for the chicken sliders at Hooters. Alright, lucky about to try a nacho. You good? <laughs> oh, you don't like it? So, but two out of ten? Okay, okay. All right, so it is our last night in Phuket before we head to Rawai tomorrow. So, we are gonna go to Bangla Road to the virtual arcade. They have VR and they have some other games. Lucky love to play the games. So, we're gonna go over there and I'm gonna show y'all the, the VR arcade. <laughs> Oh, well, we got stuck in the rain. We got stuck in the rain on the way to the arcade. And it's like musical chairs with the rain right now. It's like, it starts and then everybody runs and then it stops and then we start walking and it starts again and we run again. show y'all this place and I'm gonna show y'all what we end up getting into on some of these games I think I'm gonna try that VR I never tried it before it's gonna be my first time so what game are you gonna play I play monkey I monkey? Kill monkey kill monkey all right we're gonna see monkey monster monkey monster yeah. okay we're gonna see we're gonna see how good lucky do on the VR I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on after her. What you scared of? Yeah. See, Lucky be the type, she be scared of the characters in real life, like thinking that they really there and stuff. <laughs> I'm giving her the instructions on how to play.
box. Uh, the hair throw the headset on. I got up next. I never did VR before. I got up next. I got up next. I don't know though, man, because I ain't gonna lie, these people be doing VR. They be looking kind of goofy. I don't want to do it because I don't know how I'm going to be looking, man. They be over here doing the worm and pop locking and all types of stuff. Lucky, Lucky is scared of monsters and she be playing all these crazy games and getting scared when the things pop up on her. Look at her. Watch this. This is hilarious. interested to see how this really looks inside of the game because it, it look look if it make her do all that it's crazy i uh, see her screaming all loud everybody looking at you crazy <laughs> yeah i'm gonna do it just to see if it's worth this crazy reaction that lucky giving out right now yeah don't run oh! So today we are heading to Rawai. This is a town on the most southern part of Phuket. Now it has become one of the fastest growing expat destinations in Thailand right now. And it's been compared to Changu Bali, which is also a very, very popular expat location. So we're gonna head down here for a few days. We're gonna see why so many expats are flocking to Rawai. I used to work the day away. I could maybe pave away. No, it's easy to count the days till I fade away. 
But you know I always find my way to turn a bad look in the field to something solid I'm on target for a major play, used to waste a day away She hit me to say I'm on her mind, but my commitment to the game Got me OT till I OD and then I fade away Lately I've been giving doubt tones, they meeting milestones No way I'm giving all of me She settled for a left hand with a gym over a piece of me My mind's always as clear when she done climbing on the top of me Alright, so we are in Rawai now Resort we are staying in is really nice, so I'm going to show y'all that tomorrow. But right now, we're going to walk around, see if we can find some food, because we have not ate today. Lucky says she like Rawai so far. I like so much. She like it. It does kind of... I like some week, or Chang, Rawai. So it does kind of look like Koh Chang and Koh Samui a little bit. More of a beach town than like a beach look city. Like yeah, so we're going to explore a little bit of it, though, see if we can find it. This is a dope thing to have if you are expat and digital nomad. And this is a co-working space where they have strong Wi-Fi and you can do your work and your editing or just whatever you need to do. Because sometimes your internet may not be best. So this is a great thing to have if you're planning on being a digital nomad somewhere, a co-working space. We found this little spot over here by the beach, even though there's no water right there right now. But... See, they got like the bean bags over here and all this up. Huh? I'm about to go with the Penang the Mu. I'm gonna go with some beef Penang. That's 230 baht. I always get the chicken, so we're gonna see how the beef tastes. All right, we got the Penang beef right here I with the rice. Oil. And we're gonna see how it tastes. Oh yeah, she got some oysters on there. She got some fried rice over here. Oh, Papaya salad. I thought these were some Pokemon, man. I did not even know that this was a real... Called what? Mangdatele. Mangdatele. Comment down below. Uh, Pokemon or seafood? Which one is it? It is our first night in Rawai, and there's a few nice bar setups as we're walking along, and we've seen a few that look nice, and it looked like it would be an interesting... It looked like it would be an interesting place to visit and see if people are out and all that type of stuff. So we're gonna go out and check out the night scenes of Rawai and bring y'all that. So we are at a place called Naplong. It's food and drink and get some seafood, just get some dinner. Yeah, we're not gonna do too much tonight. We're just gonna do a little bit, just show y'all the scenes. Have to save energy for tomorrow. Yeah, we got- yeah, because I have, I have big things for him tomorrow. She got big things planned. to walk up 30 minutes. 30 minutes? So we got some big things planned for tomorrow. So we're gonna kind of kick it tonight. Are you trying to walk? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to see time. you looking like last time. Hmm? I don't want to see you looking like last time. But I like to have fun. You have fun? Yeah, and I know where I walk to. I walk to see some night view. Yeah, okay, yeah. So tomorrow we're gonna walk and see some nice view for y'all. And we're gonna, right. we're gonna bring y'all there. And all, all, all the YouTubers go there. Everybody go there, all right. And Hopefully we not sweating as much as we was last time. <laughs> Y'all see earlier, the water was all the way back there. As you can see now, it's like right up here. All the boats that were sitting on the ground, they all floating now. About to go with the classic, man, the chicken pad tie. You can't go wrong with the chicken pad tie. That's what I'm gonna get. I think I'm gonna see what this talking about too. Deep fried homemade crab meat roll. Wait, Joe. Thailand probably has some of the best iced tea that I've ever had. And I'm from North Carolina, so if I'm saying that, we got the oysters right here. What kind of sauce is this? Spicy? Not so spicy, so sweet. Sweet sauce? Yeah, it's not so spicy. Right there? Okay, okay. The pad thai right here. If you've never had Thai food or you're gonna come to Thailand for the first time, this should be your starter meal. Pad Thai is a dish that tastes good most of the time and it's a good starter for your Thai food journey. You have to eat like this. Aloy Mai? Aloy Mai. Mmm. Oh, you talk Thai, huh? Mmm. Oh, you put all the stuff on there? Yeah. And you put this one. This is seafood sauce. Seafood sauce. So that's the spicy right there and the sweet. And then you throw that on there too? Okay, okay. Can I be lighting? Oh. Mm. 
got my hoi joy, which is hoi jo, hoi jo, I got my, I got my hoi jo. Got to put with this dog. Okay. Come, come on. That's fire right there. <laughs> That's fire. Another game of pool coming up. We're gonna see who come out on top. Oh my god. What? I have so much space. You got so much space? I gotta be. Okay. She she might get a win in today. She might get a win today. I had to let her get one today. I be needing at least. I need three warm up games before I'm really ready. Do all that when you win, but then we okay. Then you lose. You got all the complaints. I gotta come kick it over here. This is dope. This is like a this is a ganja spot right here. But they got a pool outside. They got a pool table in there. That's dope. All right, so we are back inside. It's a cool little night out. It wasn't too many people outside, but I think there are other parts of the town that we have yet to explore. It's only our first night, but tomorrow I'm gonna show you guys this beautiful resort we're staying in. And Lucky has some things planned for us as well tomorrow. So it sounds like it's gonna be an adventure. So catch y'all tomorrow, man. Like, comment, subscribe as always, and we out. Overseas, couple G's and expenses. Gotta get it, I've been different since the entrance